Romantic chemistry is about the love shared between these three beautiful ingredients. Chemistry. And when you put these three ingredients together, you get this amazing like balsam wood, citrusy, gingery thing. Sexy. What would happen if an apricot, some hops, and mango got it on? The answer is romantic chemistry. Oh, yeah. Let me drink some of that. Oh, and we're also reviewing this beer, too. Cheers. <laughs> Hello, I am Mike, this is Lou, and we have our special guest. Or just repeating guests. At I'm this a regular point. guest. Yeah. This Normal is guest. Doug. Uh, but today we have two awesome, and when I say awesome, I really mean awesome and IPAs. I love Dogfish Head. From Dogfish Head. Our little celebrity. Celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today we have uh, Romantic Chemistry. What we might have. <clears throat> Mm. It's the liquid truth. <laughs> <laughs> and liquid truth serum. Get it? Do you see what? More yeah. puns. These More are puns. these are two IPAs that were released by Dogfish Head in 2016. Dogfish Head is of course from Milton, Delaware. Delaware. They started with the uh, brew pub room. in uh, Rehoboth Beach. They have two awesome restaurants. They're right next to each other in downtown Rehoboth. And they're There's putting a in a beer garden between them. Oh, no way. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm excited for that. You clever bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit up okay. the brewery. The brewery's in Milton, Delaware. You can get in there for Absolutely. tours. When you show up and you schedule for a tour, uh, they give you a card that allows you to free tasting. So you can try anything that they are offering at the brewery at that time. And Sam, as we call him locally, or Sam Caligioni, uh, as he's known in the, the brewing world, has really become like an ambassador for craft beer. Absolutely, like, yeah. He not only pushes the Dogfish brand, but he is kind of pushing all craft brewery brands. He was on Martha Stewart. He's been on Martha Stewart. Mm, he he's got his own books. A couple books. Yeah. He's so. teaming up with other local craft breweries to kind of align themselves to, to fend off this current trend of uh, big name breweries like Anheuser-Busch yeah. buying up craft breweries. He's trying to fight off that. So he's he's really an advocate, I think, for the craft beer scene. Go beer. Lou, would you like to tell us a little bit about Romantic Chemistry? So as Mike said, this is a uh, 2016 uh, brew, so it's one of their uh, one of Dogfish's more recent uh, releases. That's a uh, 7.2%. And as uh, the founder, Sam Caligione, said, it is the love shared between mangoes, apricots, and hops. So it's a pretty interesting beer. It's also brewed with ginger. Right. And um, it has a fruit Are you infusion. a ginger? My hair's a mess, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna put the hat back on. Yeah. I'm wearing this all day. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, it's got a little loo in it. <laughs> yeah. It's just the beard. And Romantic Chemistry is released uh, anywhere between February and May. Next up, we have Liquid Truth Serum. Uh, this was released a little bit later in 2016, and it is a 6.8% alcohol. And it is typically released between October and December. It is unique and it is the the truth serum as sam caligione would say it's unique because it dispels the rumors that all beers or all happy beers have to be hopped continuously during the boil it's unique because it is hopped post boil so the interesting the beer has already been boiled and then after the fact they add the hops in which actually takes away the bitterness from the hops and allows the, the hoppiness to stay with the beer. As long as it gets me to tell the truth. Right. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's drink some beers. Let's drink 
I'm gonna try this Some romantic beers. chemistry. It's fruity, that's for sure. As Mike sends me the hard sign. I like it, again, not the biggest IPA person. I The hops take a step back, and the fruit kind of takes a step yeah. forward. So it's, you get the hop aftertaste to it, but I think that you, the, the majority of the flavor that you get is from all of this fruit. Right. So I'm actually kind of feeling a little romantic towards this IPA. I would agree. It, it's really more fruit forward than it is hot forward. I, I would I would definitely agree. It's a lot that. smoother than some of the... It's definitely right. smooth. Like the 120 minute IPA or any of those. Yeah, that hits you have a little more punch. Right. Which I enjoy those too. I mean, it's all about what mood I'm in, what food I'm eating. Take it to the hot meter. What do you say, Lou? I'm going to give this a seven and a half. As far as IPAs go, this is... It might be one of my favorites. Yeah, agreed. I mean, I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to go up a little bit from that. Like I said, it's got... I like mango. I like apricots. I like ginger. They're blending together with the hops. Uh, mango, apricots, and the hops, as Dogfish points out, share that chemistry. Right. They all have this thing here. Cheeky bastards. Yeah. You, it's a chemical. Yeah. I could probably pronounce that one. Um, got, a, got a bachelor's in chemistry. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give this an eight on my hop meter too. It's it's one of my favorites. It's one of my go-to. Um, again, that that New England style IPA is quickly becoming one of my favorite styles of IPAs. I like IPAs in the general, fruity. but yeah. but I like the citrus or the fruitiness up front. Absolutely. So, let's do the truth. Let's there. do a little truth. I'll go ahead. This time. Yeah, go for it. Oh, so this one has like a flowery. Ooh, it's got some. This one I couldn't, it wasn't as aromatic as the word they use. Right, aromatic. I'm not really a professional taster. Yeah, we try not to do that here. I'm definitely not professional. No. <laughs> Look at him. That's fascinating. Ooh, aftertaste. Hello. That sweetness come in the tail end and just smack you in the top of the mouth. It is. It does have a sweet aftertaste smack to it. You. Definitely smooth. It is. It's a deep... The hops still kind of, as, again, for an IPA, it tastes, it tastes kind of like a back step, but it has like a, it has a smooth finish and a sweet aftertaste. Right. And that's, that's... I can't tell which one I like more, honestly. So in the description I gave about the truth serum, that, that's exactly what it said, is that the myth is that you have to hop an IPA during the boil, and that's typically what gives it that bitterness, the IBUs. But in this case, they back that off, and then they add the hops after the boil, which gives it the the less bitterness, more hoppiness. Hmm. So it I, gives it that smooth so flavor. I, I, I like at. the hop taste. I and I can appreciate the lower bitter level. Right. I can't tell which one I like more. Honestly, I like this one more. Let's put the chemistry. Let's put the liquid so. truth serum on the hop meter before we get there. Doug, since you started out, what do you say for the yeah, um, hop meter? I'm actually gonna go a little lower. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm just a big mango, apricot, ginger fan. The, the blending of the flavor just, it does it for me. Of course, it depends on what mood I'm in, what food I'm eating, but I'm gonna put this a little lower. I'm gonna go at a seven uh, for uh, the truth serum. So okay. that's where I am. Uh, well, I put this at a seven and a half. I'm gonna announce I like this one better. I'm gonna put this at a seven though, at a very close second. Okay. All right, so we're all about style differences and style preferences yeah, here on Brewtopia. I'm going to say that uh, Liquid Truth Serum is going to be going to go a nine and a half on it. Oh, um, it's up there for me. It's right in line with uh, Nana Coke Nectar for me. Ah. Uh, I think at Nana Coke Nectar I gave maybe a ten. Truth Serum has very similar flavors, very similar notes to it as the Nana Coke Nectar. So I'm going to put it right up there at 9.5. This is the style of beer that I probably most enjoy. Hmm. I like it. Well, there you have it. You said we, Dogfish is one of our more popular brands, especially right. in the, the southern Delaware the area. Celeb Brew Tea. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, they put out some damn fine They work. are, um, as of Jan Quenchuary, they are also available in Louisiana. They added another okay. state. I believe there are 34 states. They're up in the 30s now where you can get dogfish heads. So right. it's Take around you. Check them out. Chances are you're going to be able to find it. And as Lou and I usually say, now Doug's with us too, 
What do we say? I don't know. What do well, we say? What we normally say <laughs> is that if you go into your local brew right. store. Right. That's what he said. I've never said, 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 said this that. before. I've never said it before. <laughs> He's edited so many of our right. videos that he knows what we I say. I will say it now. Okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that if you want to try one of the beers we have on this show and your local establishment does not sell it, ask. For ask. It. They can order it. They've right. got big beer catalogs that have all the beers. Right. I would definitely recommend trying this, especially Super IPA good. fans. It's a, it's a different great. style IPA. Yeah. Uh, make sure you're liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, we're going to hit some local breweries here soon. You're going to want to see that. So please keep checking back early and often and Maybe making sure. Maybe it'll be sure. a dance off. I don't know. I'm <laughs> feeling the dance off. Maybe a dance off between Maybe. Doug and Lou. I, I, I heard Doug mm. and Mike. Oh, okay. I, either way, I'm dancing off somebody. Battle right. of the Grace. So keep checking out. Uh, yeah. Keep keep coming back to us. And if you're going to binge on anything, binge, binge on, on Brutopia. Boom. Oh, by the way, dogfish, it's a type of shark, you yeah. yeah. Hence the shark on the label. What the f did you think it meant? Hey, Ma is this on? Mom! Hey! Mom, Hello. I can't hear you! Hello? Give the phone to Dad! <laughs>